Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what I'm going to do here is solve this rational equation. And solving rational equations uh, usually um, you know, can be pretty challenging or, or at least involve a lot of steps. So I'm going to be moving at a pretty good pace here. And uh, there might be some things that you don't understand. If that's the case, please come over to our site, AlgebraTestHelper.com, and kind of read up or build those particular, particular skills that you might be kind of lacking as we get into this problem. So that's the first thing. The second thing, um, like I said, this is a rational equation. So anytime you hear that word rational in mathematics, and uh, specifically algebra, I want you to think of the word fraction. Okay, so rational and fraction are kind of interchangeable. So this is kind of like a fractional equation, but the fractions involve variables. Okay, so our numerator and denominators have some sort of variables to them, and specifically they're polynomials, but that's a little technical. But basically what you need to know is that we have um, a rational equation here. Okay, it's because we have these fractions that are made up with numbers and polynomials. So the first thing you have to do is we want to clear away all the fractions here. We want to get rid of all the fractions. And to do that, we have to multiply the entire equation by the LCD, okay, the lowest common denominator. So if you look here, our denominators okay, are uh, x minus 4, x plus 5, and 1. So you need to know how to um, figure that out. And if, if you need help finding out what the LCD is, come by our site um, and we'll explain that. Okay, so that's another skill in and of itself. So once again, it's like I said in the beginning of the video, there's, there's quite a few, these are like little problems within problems. Okay, but the LCD, okay, the lowest common denominator for this particular equation is going to be x minus 4 times x plus 5. And another way to kind of think of the LCD is, what do I need to multiply this entire equation by to clear all the fractions? Okay, so if you think about it, x minus 4 times x plus 5, if I multiply this, okay, times each one of these terms in my equation, you'll see um, how the fractions will go away. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the first one here. So x minus 4 times x plus 5 times 2x times x minus 4. Well, when you do this, the x minus 4s go away. Here, I'll just show you this real fast because I want to kind of, um, I don't want to make this too lengthy of a video, but let's go ahead and just look at this real quick so you understand. So x minus 4 times x plus 5 times 2x times x minus 4. Okay, so this is like over 1. So what you have is basically one big fraction, right? And these two can cross cancel. So you're left with 2x times x plus 5. Okay, that's the result of uh, x minus 4 times x plus 5 times this first term. All right, and that's how it's going to work for the rest of these. So let me go ahead and erase this. All right, so I know, and I apologize in advance, if you're already kind of lost, you might want to jump over to our site and look at some easier problems. So you know, we're going to be doing a lot of, lot of steps here uh, pretty quickly. Okay, so back to the problem. So the first one is x minus 4 is cross cancel, so we're left with 2x times x plus 5. Okay, now what's our second uh, term? We have x minus 4 uh, times x plus 5 times 4 over x plus 5. So here you can see the x plus 5s this time are going to cross, uh, cross cancel, so you're going to be left with 4 times x minus 4. Okay, and if you don't see that, um, like how I'm doing it, definitely write it out so you can't see what's going on here. This is critical. And once again, these rational equations involve a lot of a lot of work and a lot of other reliance on previous skills that you hopefully have already built up. Okay, so then we have x minus 4 times x plus 5 times 2, or 2 over 1, which is 2. And that's going to be 2 times x minus 4 times x plus 5. Okay, so this is the first, first... Um, uh, major hurdle, if you will, to get this, uh, to find out what the solution here is. We had to, one, understand how to find the LCD, okay, the lowest common denominator, and two, multiply this correctly throughout the, all the terms of the equations to clear the fractions. So that's what we have. So now, hopefully you can solve this particular equation. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to do the distributive property here. I'm going to get 2x squared plus 10x. 
once again, if you don't know what I'm doing, then you want to head over to our site and work on some basic equations. This is going to be 4x minus 16, just distributing that 4, plus 2 times, so this is going to be x minus 4 times x plus 5, and let's just do the FOIL method here real quick. So this would be x squared, I'll have a negative 4x and a positive 5x, so that would be plus x, and negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Okay, so moving right along, and notice how I'm showing all my steps. That's exactly how you want to do it um, on your homework, test, or quizzes. Okay, so I'm just going to take my time here. 2x squared plus 10x equals, so this would be 4x minus 16 plus 2x squared. I'm just distributing to 2 now, plus 2x minus 40. Okay, all right, just... Moving step by step, that's what you want to do when you're solving these equations. My next thing that I want to do is I want to look for like terms over here. So I have a 4x and I have a 2x. And then I can also combine these numbers. I have a negative 16 and negative 40. And if you look at the 2x squared over here, I have 2x squared and 2x squared. When I subtract 2x squared from both sides, they're going to go away. Okay, but we'll handle that in a second. So let's get this go ahead and do our 4x and 2x. That'll be 6x. And I'll put my 2x squared here. And then minus 16 and a minus 40 is going to be a negative 56 over here. Okay. So now what I want to start doing is getting all my variables to the left-hand side and all my numbers to the right-hand side. Now look what's going to happen to the 2x, right? When I put 2x squared, I can subtract 2x squared from both sides of the equation. They're going to go away. So, matter of fact, let's just go ahead and do that now. That's going to be the 2x squared just go away. So, my equation now is 10x equals 6x minus 56. And now this is getting to be really easy. I'm going to subtract 6x now from both sides of the equation. I get 4x equals negative 56. And then, last but not least, I need to divide both sides of the equation by 4. And I get, oops, I get x is equal to negative 14. Okay, so that's a good amount of, of work to do. But guess what? You're still not done. You're still, still not done. So you're saying, what are you talking about? I'm still not done. Well, let me explain. So x equals negative 14 appears to be the correct answer, and it very well could be. However, when you're solving rational equations, okay, when you're solving rational equations, um, and you multiply everything by the LCD, you could um, create what we call extraneous roots, extra roots um, that you need to throw out. So in other words, your answer down here, although it, it, this x equals negative 14 is correct, it's that this is definitely the solution to this equation. However, it may not, and I mean may not be the solution to the original equation. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to plug in that um, x equals negative 14 into our original equation, which was this, and you want to make sure that the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. Okay, then this is not an optional step, but I'm going to go ahead and spare you that pain in this problem and let you know that this, in fact, works out. Okay, so like I said, a uh, good amount of work involved. Okay, if you just kind of look here and look at my work, it's like I'm telling, uh, telling a story, and that's what you need to be doing, too. But rational equations are extremely important in algebra and beyond, so you need to know how to solve them. Okay, so hopefully this video helped you out. Please come to our site, algebratesthelper.com. have tons more of um, uh, uh, examples, tutorials, videos, all free and all designed to make math easy to learn. All right, so good luck and take care.